You may be helping burglars break into your car without even knowing it. Statistics show your car is more likely to be broken into during the holidays. And the advice we've all heard for years may be just what leads burglars right to you and your stuff. Seneca Donge has more in tonight's special report. Yeah, we've all heard the age old advice put your valuables in the trunk of your car before you leave your car in a parking lot. But police say that's no longer the best decision. Because it is such an, an easy crime, right? I mean, if you think about it and you put yourself in, in the, the criminal's shoes, all they're really doing is taking a stroll through the parking lot and looking inside the windows of vehicles. And if they see a purse or a wallet, something of value, an iPad, a computer, then it takes them a matter of seconds to break the window. And take that property. It happens more than you think. Jupiter police say the most popular areas for a break in is the parking lot of a gym, at the beach, and at parks. We headed to those areas to see for ourselves just how many people are leaving themselves vulnerable. Not even two minutes after we arrive at Gold's Gym. So here you go. Here's one for you, purse. And two seconds later, this vehicle has a bag in it, maybe a, a camera or a lunch bag. It's kind of hard to say, but. Is that enough to make someone break in? Absolutely. In less than 10 minutes, we found six cars with valuables displayed in plain view and two women who transfer their purse to the oh, yeah. trunk in broad daylight. Do you move your purse to the trunk when you're already parked? Um, or do you usually do that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, they're doing a story on you know, yeah. how to better prevent. Yeah, and I always think burglaries. about it. When yeah. I open it, I'm like, I'm not going to use what you use. Things in that I car. I just put mine in my trunk. Just now? But I told her, I said, at, least, at least put your alarm on. Officer Brown says the best thing to do is to put your purse in your trunk before you leave home and only bring what you absolutely need. Of the 10 cars we looked at at Jupiter Beach, five displayed valuables, one even had a window rolled down. You can see here there's a bag kind of jammed between the, uh, the seat and the door. We also found two previously shattered car windows. In comparison, just three cars at Riverbend State Park were at risk. Some people will try to cover their valuables with a towel. But, you know, the problem is people are smart enough to see that, you know, there's a towel on the seat and it's covering something that looks like a, that could be a purse. So you're it's really, you're not fooling anyone at all. Those break ins only increase during the holiday season. With Black Friday right around the corner, police recommend shopping at just one store at a time and going home straight after. In other words, don't take multiple stops. That would allow criminals to follow you. Now, the Jupiter Police Department isn't the only agency who's seeing these trends. You can find your city's statistics on our website, WPBF.com. In the studio, Sonic Adonga, WPBF 25 News.